In this brief talk, I will introduce the concept of lithographic printing from pink Tennessee marble. Lithography, the process of printing images from limestone, was invented in 1798 by Allo Senefelder, a Bavarian, Bavarian law school dropout and playwright. The process became the primary print medium in the 19th century used for both commercial and artistic printing. While the principles of lithography can allow for printing from aluminum plates today, historically, lithography, lithography utilized a fine grain limestone dating from the late Jurassic period, principally from the Zollenhofen quarry north of Munich, Germany. East Tennessee pink marble which gave Knoxville the moniker Marble City, is in fact more akin to limestone and is referred to by geologists as Holston limestone. Indeed, the marble industry played a key role in the early economic development of Knoxville and has been used in many significant buildings here and elsewhere. In preparation for the 2017 exhibit Rock of Ages at the Museum of East Tennessee History, Tennessee marble historian Susan Knowles contacted me about collaborating with Kate Katomsky, an artist from Maine. For more than a decade, Katomsky has made art about the mar marble quarries in Vermont, where both her grandfather and father had worked and had made intaglio prints using marble dust in the pigments. While we have an extensive inventory of German limestone in our print shop at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, working on this project with Kate offered me an opportunity to see if East Tennessee marble or Holston limestone might be suitable for lithographic printing. As part of the process, I contacted Deb Cheney, one of my former students who's a Tamron Master printer, who has made several prints at La Sieba Grafica, a studio in Veracruz, Mexico, where she had printed from locally sourced Mexican marble. An early test stone provided by Tennessee Marble Company in Friendsville, Tennessee, offered promising results. They then provided me with an 18 by 24 inch, three inch thick slab from which I made a more involved test print depicting the quarry and workshop. In preparation for the collaboration, Kate selected a set of images related to East Tennessee marble history, including photographs of quarry workers and the spiral staircase at the US Supreme Court building and with these images, I made photolithographic plates. As part of our process, Kate also made a rubbing of a stone with drilled channels at Ross's Quarry at the Iams Nature Center, which we used to create a plate emulating the look of book matching, which is a method often used in marble installations. A main aspect of the project was Kate's drawing on pink marble of the keystone formation at Ross's quarry, which was processed and printed in combination with many of the photolithographic plates. The project was Kate's first lithographic print, and it gave me an opportunity to involve Lila Schull, who at the time was one of our incoming graduate students, so that her knowledge of lithography and print collaborations would be greatly enhanced. Through the project, we produced a set of 16 variable prints using combinations of the photolitho plates with the keystone image printed from pink marble. And here I'm shown rolling up that stone with Kate looking on. Many of the prints use paper stencils as well as monoprinting with some of the sheets 
um, having four or more layers uh, or print runs from the various print elements so that each of the resulting prints in the series is a unique impression. The qualities of Kate's image of the keystone or keyhole at Ross's quarry, which used many tush washes, reflected the very sedimentary nature that formed the stone that we used to create the lithographic image itself. So in this way, there was a connection between the materials she used and the formation of sedimentary rock itself. Like many other collaborative projects that I have worked on previously, this project provided an opportunity for me to explore ideas and methods that are different from my own studio practice. As part of the larger project, the Knoxville Museum of Art showcased several works in their collection related to our local quarries and helped to support the project by providing a venue for local collectors to learn about this collaboration. Proceeds from the sale of prints helped to support a multimedia video and sound presentation titled Quarry Project Tennessee, which was projected on the Tennessee marble exterior of the Knoxville Museum of Art in November 2017. And this project was created by Kate and her partner, Judd Mulkerin. One of the prints from the collaboration, which includes a historic photograph of African-American quarry workers, is now in the collection of the Knoxville Museum of Art, which has an extensive collection of prints and other works on paper. You can learn about this project from Kate's website, as well as the exhibition website, Rock of Ages, from the Museum of East Tennessee History website. It was an exciting project and a great opportunity to work with another artist and explore the potential of printing on stones indigenous to Knoxville, Tennessee. Thank you.